Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Around the world, Muslim refugees have invaded countries in an attempt to take them over and create their global caliphate. Due to the relaxed liberal policies, this has been happening at an alarming rate as these unvetted refugees flood over the border. Then after these refugees arrive, they are given taxpayer-funded assistance that can amount to thousands of dollars a month. While conservatives have been saying that this sort of handout needs to end, liberals continue to fork it over despite the public outcry. Now, one country has made the bold decision to stop handling out welfare benefits to Muslim migrants who just arrived in their country, and if it works, we could see this happen in America too. For years, the American people have witnessed welfare fraud perpetrated not only by illegal immigrants but by Muslim refugees and migrants as well. These freeloaders walk into our country and are showered with taxpayer-funded handouts while millions of Americans suffer without the same luxuries. President Trump and other conservative voices have been working hard to curb the fraud, but it has been uphill battle with so many liberals standing in our way. Well, Australia has had the same issue as we have since Muslim migrants have flooded into their country to sign up for welfare benefits and offer nothing back in return. Evidently, the Australian government has become sick of receiving nothing but grief from these Zingrits and has implemented a new program to stop the theft of government resources. For too long, Muslim migrants who arrived in Australia received gifts like they were an Oprah Winfrey audience member. As soon as they stepped foot onto Australian soil they were showered with welfare benefits, healthcare, and many other government-assisted programs that were designed to help Australian citizens. At any rate, that is all about to change after Treasurer Scott Morrison announced new changes to the rules on Monday morning. Here is more from Daily Mail. Newly arrived migrants will have to wait longer before receiving a range of welfare payments under a hardline new approach expected to save $1.3 billion. It will be three years before migrants can receive new start or family tax benefits, paid parental leave or carer allowances. The push to encourage self-sufficiency among new migrants was one of the headline savings measures announced by Treasurer Scott Morrison in a mid-year budget outlook on Monday. Social Services Minister Christian Porter suspects many people would be surprised to learn migrants could access some family and parental payments immediately after arriving in Australia. Australians' expectation of newly arrived migrants is that they contribute socially and economically for a reasonable period before having access to our nation's generous welfare system, Mr Porter said. Vulnerable people, as well as New Zealanders who enter the country under a special visa stream will be granted exemptions. The changes will require legislation and are due to take effect in July 2018. Roughly 50,000 families and 30,000 others receiving Centrelink benefits are expected to be stung by the time the scheme is fully implemented in 2021. The Turnbull government also expects to save about $1 billion over the forward estimates by cracking down harder on family daycare payments. But the government will walk away from a raft of welfare savings measures it has failed to get through the parliament, at a cost of $581 billion. Money remains allocated for a controversial plan to drug test welfare recipients, despite the trials being put on ice. Finance Minister Matthias Corman said the device of drug testing regime was still coalition policy. We remain committed to it and we continue to work with all non-government senators in order to secure a majority, support, for what is a very, very important welfare reform measure, he told reporters in Canberra. Of course, this is a fantastic plan to save the country a few bucks and if other countries were smart they would implement the same thing. Welfare was not intended to be a lifelong option, but to help those who are struggling to get back on their feet and make something of themselves. If you coddle these people they will continue to flood in and take advantage of the system and give nothing back. If people are forced to get off their bums and look for work to eat, they will do it, but that is not what the left wants. You see the left is all about creating an any state where they take care of everyone and have complete control under the guise of compassion.
Thankfully, there are people out there who see the destruction that this can cause and is fighting back to save their countries, and hopefully, this same plan will happen here too. Share if you think all welfare recipients must look for work to collect any government handouts. HT, Daily Mail. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Daily.